function or not a function? That is the question. In the following problems, our goal is to determine whether we have a function or not. First, let's consider that if the x value repeats, it is not a function. And the x value here represents the domain. Second, if the y value repeats, it's okay. That is still a function. And the y value represents the range. Remember that ordered pairs are given as x, y pairs. So for example, if we were taking a look at a table, given time and distance, time represents the x, which represents the domain. Distance represents the y, which represents the range. At time 0, the distance is 10. At time 10, the distance is 22, and so forth. Now, looking at relation 1, our goal is to decide whether we have a function or not. And again, we do that by determining whether or not the x value repeats. Let's take a look at the x values here. The x values are g, w, x, and t. None of those repeated, therefore we do have a function. In the second relation, our x values are 6, 0, 0, and 6. Both 6 and 0 repeated, therefore this is not a function. In our third and fourth relation, we are looking at a mapping. In our mapping, we first have to look at the domain values. The domain values are negative 2, 9, 7, and negative 3. To determine whether or not these are repeating, we have to take a look at the arrows that are pointing at the range values. As long as there is only one arrow coming out of each domain value, we know that we have a function. Negative 2 points only at door, 9 points only at star, 7 points only at lake, and negative 3 points only at moon. Therefore, we have a function because each domain value points only at one value in the range. In relation 4, how many arrows are coming out of negative 2? Only one arrow comes out of negative 2, pointing at door. Only one arrow comes out of negative 6, pointing at door. Only one arrow comes out of 8, pointing at rock. Only one value comes out of 2, pointing at rock. It's okay for more than one domain value to point at the same value in the range, but the important thing here is that each one of these values had only one arrow coming out of them, therefore this is a function. So you might be wondering, how do I know if I select not a function when looking at a mapping? Well, take for example here. If we had this arrow from negative 2 pointing at door and also had another arrow coming out of negative 2 to point at rock, that would not be a function because two arrows would be coming out of one domain value. 